What is up guys, it is Zach here with episode 3 of our PHP Basics tutorial and I changed the freaking name on my YouTube account, it's now Procoder because I also own Procoder.io, pretty awesome domain. I might start putting stuff on there for here but I don't really have much on there right now, just my personal site. So what we're doing here is you might be like, whoa, what is this? Well, we're making a form and I'm going to teach you guys how to do multiplication, division, subtraction, stuff like that in PHP since I kind of forgot that. But I did say I'm going to teach you how to use forms, so I'm doing it with forms. So what we're going to do here is I have, I already made a little HTML uh, structure right here for you guys to see. And you can just copy this down. I'll explain it. I'm sure you guys know HTML already. If not, you should look up HTML forms. This is pretty simple. Basically, it's a form tag and the action, when it's blank, it just goes to the page it's currently on. So it'll send this data to this page. And we'll add in the PHP code that does stuff with it in a minute. So the method is post. If you don't know what that means, post sends it so the user can't see it. If it's get, the data will be sent in the URL. Here, I'll show you right now. So if I click post, you don't see anything because we haven't told it to do anything. And if we did get, it wouldn't work because we haven't named our input fields. I wanted to do that with you guys on here because I wanted to explain to you how it works and how PHP gets the information. So in each of these forms, so what we're going to do is we're going to let the user put in number and then number two. So they'll be like five and then choose what they want to do with it. So we'll add like add and subtract just for now. We can add more later. So I'll just put minus and I'll make the value subtract. Now let's set uh, variable names for this right here. So name the select element. Let's name it. Let's name it um, operator because we're choosing what we want it to do, what operation. And then for number one, let's just name it uh, one. And then for the second number, let's just name it two. So the way you do this is you guys should already know how to use HTML form. Just look it up. You put equals and then in quotes, just like here. This placeholder just shows number two and number as you saw before right here. See number two, number. So now let's save it. And now let's do a get and it will put in the data right here is to see like and operator equals add because we have add selected and two equals yeah because I didn't put in a number so we can also specify instead of text we should we can put number here so that it only lets numbers be put in but it depends on what browser if it's actually supported to only put numbers so that's why you want to validate this stuff using PHP we'll get into random validation stuff later that's a lot more complicated stuff so now let's refresh it and you can't put in if you do this watch Boom, please enter a number. So, and what's cool is Chrome has this little thing that lets you just put in numbers and values. So that's pretty neat. So now let's change it back to post. And let's get ready to do the PHP. So we'll just do the PHP right here. So put in your PHP tag and let's put a closing tag because watch what happens if you leave PHP open on HTML. Well, it just shows nothing, but there is a syntax error as you can see here error parsing on line 14 because we didn't close PHP and that's not PHP code and the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna make an if statement that pretty much just says if post the post variable one because that's the name of this field is not empty then let's do something with it so the way you do this is you just set up an if statement as you learned in the last tutorial and the way you get post variables is you do an underscore because it's a global variable you do post and then in two brackets and then quotes you put one because that is the name of this variable and now the way we check if it's empty is we do if it's not empty so to do not is an exclamation point and then empty so it's real simple and you wrap whatever you want to check if it's empty with parentheses so now we have if not empty post one which is this right here so if it's not empty let's just echo just let's just put high just to see if it works so let's save it and then let's just refresh it just because I hate when that pops up. So now let's just do number 55555, five, 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 five. do math, high. So it is set. So now if we do this again and we click do math, it does nothing because it's not set. So now let's also set if they're both not empty. So if both numbers aren't empty, then let's do the code. So to do and, remember it's double ampersands. Hey, they kind of rhymed. So if not empty post one and not empty post two, then let's do this code. So now let's check 
because no matter what, this will always be set because there's always a one selected. So now let's do an if statement inside of an if statement. I know for you beginners, this probably seems like inception. But here, let's do if, and then I can just copy and paste to go fast. I'm on a MacBook Air, and it's just on my lap. It's kind of hard to just type real fast while I'm doing all this. So if, um, let's say, if post operator, um, let's say if it equals add, because that's the first option. Then let's do, let's um, add them together, and then let's see, let's output it on the screen. Sorry, I don't even know. I'm getting sidetracked or something right now. But what you want to do is if you're going to be using these variables a lot, you can do something like um, number, and you can set it to that post variable so you don't have to put underscore post, uh, brackets, uh, quotes, uh, one. You don't have to do that every time. So let's do that number for number one, and let's set number two equal to the second variable. So boom, just like that, and let's make it look pretty. Now let's add them together since the operator chosen is add. So now um, complete, let's make it equal to number and then put a plus sign, number two. And code has this nice autofill. And now let's echo it out on the screen and when it's all done. So now I'll go over this really quick. I just want to make sure it all works and show you guys real quick. And no, we don't want to resubmit that. And oh no, it didn't work. And if you guys notice what I did wrong here, that'd be really good of you because you're already catching on a lot. What I did wrong here is the empty was missing a parenthesis right here. So now it's all good. Let's save it. Let's check it out. And okay, let's say five and then let's do five plus five. Do math. Ten. Boom. The whole thing works. So it's that easy and we can, um, okay, look. I'll just show you this first before I explain what's better to do. Okay, so right here if we say if the operator equals subtract, uh, we could just pretty much copy and paste it all and then put subtract. But what's smart to do is if you're going to do a lot of if statements, you don't want to make these variable names inside of the if statement if you're going to be using them in a lot of if statements. What you want to do is do it outside of the two if statements and put it inside the bigger one. So as you can see right here, boom, boom, delete them there, and let's put them right here. So let's check it out, make sure it all works, and then I'm going to go over it one more time. And then the next video will be going over text inputs, hopefully getting into databases soon, showing you, do how, to, showing you how to do more fun stuff. So let's just resubmit it, whatever. Uh, let's put number 5 plus 555555. Okay, boom. 5560. Now let's do 10, and then let's subtract 5. So just change it over to subtract. Boom, 5. So there you go. Now the way this works again is hopefully that wasn't too fast for you guys. Like I said, I like to keep my videos short. So all we did here is we made a form that sends all this data to the page, the same page itself. If we specified a different page here, it would go to a separate page. But I'm just showing you all on the same page just to keep it short and simple. What we did here is we made a select field with the name operator, and we have the values equal to add and subtract. So what this does is whenever you have two numbers put in, it checks if they're not empty, and then it sets them equal to easier to use variables. And then if the post operator equals add, then let's add them together and echo it out on the page. If it equals subtract, let's subtract them and echo them out on the page. And if you want to do division, all you do is change it to divide. Same principle, you can change it down here, add a divide field. And then if you want to mul multiply, it's an asterisk. So I hope you guys like this video. If I went too fast, you need help, let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe, get ready for the next video. Hopefully this was pretty fun on your third step. I hope you can already understand how to do cool stuff in PHP. Peace.